Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about the CTT counter timer tachometer powering the unit. And on my actual um, unit here, you'll see that I'm actually powering up or going to be powering up by a Rhino um, by Automation Direct. It's the model number PSL24030 and it gives me um, 1.25 amps of DC power and that'll um, uh, power this unit up and what we're doing is we're actually going right to the um, input here which is number four and five on the back of my unit so we just flip this around you'll see that I have a wiring of my pin four and five of my unit here and what it does when it first powers up is actually uh, go into a on delay time so let's just power that up and sure enough that gives me uh, an on delay time and currently right now we have 10 seconds set now the series itself the CTT if we look at the digital counter, we have a bunch of different um, um, indications here that we've uh, discussed in our on ACC automation with more detail. However, if we look at the keys here, you'll see that we have the up arrow key. As soon as we hit that, it'll actually allow us now to change that value, and we can change it up. And every time I hit it, it increases by one. In our case here, it's 10.3 seconds now, four, five, and then it will zero or go back and or increase by one. Now, if we want, our cursor is currently at that flashing zero. We can move it over by using the arrow over key, and now it's at the one. So now we can increment that by uh, one, or we can keep going, and we can make it whatever we would like. So let's go to, say, 15 seconds and once we're done if we hit mode it will then put it back and start the counter all over again or the, sorry the timer so it'll go up to 15 seconds now and then the outputs will then fire and sure enough that's exactly what it did so the other thing we have here is a reset button so if we hit the reset Again, it just resets the timer, and then we'll start timing again. So if we look over here, you can see there's a, a lot of different symbols and stuff. If we look at our output, our outputs, we have uh, PMP inputs, or we could have MPN inputs, um, either either. And we can also have our outputs, there's uh, MPN um, syncing, or we can have relay outputs because there's a uh, single pull, double throw. And then our timing chart. And a timing chart is exactly what we're doing right now, which is our power on. So again, hit reset, and you can see that we have our power on. It's set for seconds. And then we have a lock key. So we hit reset again. You'll see it then starts over again. We have a lock key. Now the first time you hit lock, it comes on with key protect one. And here, if I try to change anything, it will not allow me to change any present value. If I hit lock again, it then allows me to change the present value, but it will not allow me to hit and hold the mode key and go into any other mode. Now and you'll notice that when I hit this lock, it doesn't come off anymore. So if you hit the two, the mode and the arrow over key at the same time, the mode switch or the uh, key lock switch comes off. Then when I hit mode for three seconds, I get into my function code. And if we go to the actual chapter in the online manual, you'll see my function code here and the first one's time. And then we have uh, hit mode again. 
and it goes to the uh, next parameter, which is either up or down timing. We hit mode again, and it is the power on right here. Hit mode again. It tells us that we're in seconds. Uh, then we have timer again. This is our output. It's set for uh, two milliseconds. Now, if we were to change that down uh, to zero, it will probably, it'll hold our output for us. Then we hit down again. There's our reset. It takes 20 uh, milliseconds in order for it to reset. We could also change it to one. And then this is our inputs, either PNP or NPN. Now it defaults to PNP right now. So that is our mode. So if we hit and hold the mode again for three seconds, it returns to our run status. Then if we hit reset, it will start our timing once again. So all of this, all the links and documentation can be found on our website at accautomation.ca. And that includes every time you do a different mode within this unit, you will see that we have a different chapter that you can actually monitor and see. So each chapter of the uh, online manual will give you specifications exactly how to do each of these different modes that we're talking about, which we will discuss later when we, we just specifically talk about timers, counters, and tachometers within the series. Okay, and if you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information just as you have. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also go to ACC Automation and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to, help us to do to help us out is tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.